Good morning and welcome to the last day of this trip. Maybe, maybe we're gonna stay one more day. We don't know because I told you that weather is unpredictable. It rained a lot last night and now we are getting ready to leave. It's 7.20 in the morning, I guess. Yep, 7.18 in the morning and we are uh, all packed up. I just came back over here to see all this. Look at those wooden houses merging into the nature just look at all of this this looks amazing this was the guest house al sayyad shabsa shabs shabstan al sayyad shabstan is the name of this guest house this was a good one having windows on the both side and a lot of light and they also have a bonfire system over here then some sitting arrangements and a deck and things like that and also amazing views all around okay so now it's time we are all packed up and as you can see uh we are leaving now so let's head forward and uh, let's touch the places we missed while coming over here and let's head back to go let's go There's a car breakdown over there and they're trying to fix it and because of that the traffic is blocked, road is blocked. These are the issues we have to face over here. It's raining and people are stuck over here. They're trying to fix it. Such car breakdowns and other natural disasters are normal over here. So people usually get stuck here. So you should be mentally prepared for all this. You should always have extra time with you like if you want to come over here and uh, if your plan is to visit three days make sure you have five days so if you get back on time that's a positive thing for you but if you get stuck you don't uh, feel bad about it we will have to wait for them to get fixed and then we will move on you might have never seen any bus like this before it looks like a punched face persian cat the traffic don't seems like opening for in the next one and a half hours, so I'm going for sleep. Wake me up when the traffic is clear. Okay, so finally the road is clear and now we are moving on. It's 12 uh, in the afternoon and we're still here, so yeah, let's see what is next for us waiting the way. these huge stones out all of this area is covered with a lot of huge stones I don't know where they came from looks like a slide somewhere from above on the top of the mountain something like this Wow! every single section of this area have its own type of beauty check this out we are between Genovai and Kale, so we don't know where we are, but we are in between that. You need to see this.
just look at all these it feels like all the slices are stacked together and stick with some glue or something just look at this this one just broke and fall down amazing isn't it nature have a lot of amazing stuff that we need to explore and we need to go out for that of course we cannot all that stuff cannot come to us we have to go to that so the first thing you will have to do is travel so we are back to kale pardon kale was on the top right over there So we had left Kale and now we are moving towards Charda. In Charda, we are going to go to that temple we missed. Maybe, we're not sure. Because first we have to get there and then we're gonna decide what we're gonna do next. shepherds as well the small ones try to get under your car and if you accidentally killed any of them trust me you are in a huge trouble so be careful another one there are thousands of them like I don't know how many of them in total would be. They would be like in millions, maybe. Oh, hello. Okay, so it's uh, almost 3:40, and I'm still feeling fresh, so I'm fasting, but I'm not feeling down. Energies are perfectly okay because this nature is also a source of energy. The only thing you need is to know and you should be able to grab that energy from this nature so here i am near the river just check this out check this part it's all sand that that this black part just look at this majestic valley with these amazing clouds all around the best thing about Kashmir is that you get all kind of weather within a week like you will see sunny you will find partially cloudy you will find clouds you will find rain and maybe you if you're lucky enough you might find snow as well so a moment ago you will be in a t-shirt and then within three or four hours you will be wearing every single thing you have like weather over here changes like this so this is an amazing place to explore and to check out your limits and to see what nature is all about this is really amazing 